in Philemon chapter 1, he said in verse 18, if you count me as a partner, receive him as myself. I, Paul, have written it with my own hand. I will repay. So you see, there are things you have to pay. It's an obligation. It's a debt. All right? But as he said, I will pay, he just wanted to remind Philemon of something. He said, albeit, I do not say to thee, how thou owest unto me even thy own self besides. I don't want to add that part. Because I told you I have an uncle. He would say, you see this man, what I've done for him. He's a wicked man. He has stolen my houses. Stolen, I have this, but he has taken it. And he would say the things he has done for them. The school fees he has paid. Accommodation he has given. Care he has done. Books he has bought. He would describe. Hey! But Paul said, I don't want to say. You see, you understand. You don't want to start to say what you've done for people. Yeah. Because when you've done something, they owe. Yes. And that's why sometimes when you give somebody a gift, sometimes there are some gifts when you receive, it puts a burden of repayment that is too much. It's true. So sometimes you shouldn't receive certain gifts. Yes. Because sometimes it's like, it's like wow, I owe you my, <laughs> the rest of my life. <laughs> my existence. <laughs> and if you don't want to owe that, such a person, Yes, you should not receive it. But there's a saying that no dinner is free. So certain gifts, when you receive them, it's almost like, ah, since I've bought you, some of you have made yourself cheap. A man gives you 200 CDs, then, or KFC. (laughs) Then you're doing anything that he wants you to do. And you make yourself, or you buy provisions for somebody. Or something. And then after that, it's like the person owes you. And it looks as if you are caring for the person. But actually, you are just using it to let the person feel indebted to you. Yes. So, debts. That's what Paul said. Present your body a living sacrifice to God which is holy and acceptable, because it is your reasonable service. Wow. It's only reasonable wow. that you would love God in a certain way. It's like you owe anyway, yeah. so this is nothing. So you owe your life. Yes. So, Paul said, I don't want to say how much you owe me. If I start to say, you, I will stand, you sound like my uncle, that uncle I've been telling you about. A very nice uncle, by the way. And he says, Yea, brother, let me have joy of thee in the Lord. Refresh my bowels in the Lord. You know, you should have brought joy to your pastor, joy to your father, refreshing to those who have loved you. But instead of bringing joy, we bring sometimes pain. God is going to use you to bring joy. Amen. Amen. I remember a pastor in somewhere. He told his wife. I honored him. And he told his wife, I've looked after so many pastors. Older pastors. Cared for them. Nobody has ever cared for me. But this man from Africa. That is me. He was talking to this man from Africa. Little kindness. He has been, he always remembers me. As I honor him and I send him offerings in his old age. He said, this one is the only person who has remembered me. 
So, you'll be surprised. As you do good, you realize that you'll be writing the same thing as Paul. Let me have joy of thee in the Lord. It's nice to be remembered. Yes, it's nice to be remembered. And refresh my bowels in the Lord. Amen. So, the way you think is changing in this prayer meeting. Yes. It's easy to say you have done nothing for me. I've heard it a number of times. You have done nothing. Okay. But I, I thank God for the people that have been good to me. They have done something for me. Yes, they have done something. If somebody who invited me, to eat, I would never have gone. Pastor invited me to Malaysia. I would never have gone to Malaysia. He invited me. I would never, I, how would I go there? Why would I go there? What would take me there? I'm grateful. I will never forget it. And somebody who introduced me, said, oh, this was a good person. Wow. Where will you get it in the world? What an honor you owe. Forgive us our debts. You know, I want us to pray because it's a sin, you know, it's a curse also. And also, when you say forgive us, they're like, not, not only will you not bring what you owe, but you now send something evil. Suppose I send you a snake in a box. When you open, it's a cobra. Will you be happy? No. And, and the cobra is in a cardboard box. Like it's a, a, a cake box. Yes, as if it's a cake. When you open, it's a strong cobra moving with strength, glistening black. Forgive us our debts. Let's pray, everyone. Pray, Lord, whatever I owe, eesh, what goodness I owe, what kindness I owe, I have yes. not been paying, I have not paid it, I have Jesus. not. Forgive me my debts, Lord. Forgive me my debts. What do you owe your old mother? Your old mother. Your old mother. What do you owe her? As she cared for you, she looked after you. What do you owe her? What debts do you have? Forgive us our debts. Man kabalo mara mara ba kabala dele bene dele. Tama kabala de bene dele bene dele dele bene dele. Ramanda <laughs> 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 